We're in Tokyo, Japan. The food culture here is incredible and we're making a ton of food videos while we're here. Let's get food hunting. If you love to eat, Tokyo is the city for you. In this video, we're taking you to where the locals eat. We're eating Japan's most popular fast food, drinking a sake cocktail for breakfast, and hunting down a dish that is a Japanese obsession. You don't want to miss this video. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We've come to a really local part of town to find this family business which specialise in oden. Oden is Japan's uh, most beloved fast food. It's made up of a number of different ingredients like egg and fish cakes and they're simmered in a delicious broth. Let's go and eat. Konnichiwa. Hi. Konnichiwa. Uh, uh, Maybe stamina. Stamina. Mm. Mira, mira wakaru. We've both got our bowls of oden. Oden is usually served in a big like stainless steel vat. So you've got this really hot uh, bubbling broth and then all of the ingredients simmering away in it. So all the vegetables, the fish cakes, they're all popped in the broth and they're heated that way and they soak up that broth. So let me talk you through what we've ordered. I have got an egg. Uh, some daikon radish, that white piece underneath there, a fish cake, and then also what the lady called a stamina ball. And then it's all wallowing in this broth. And then also a splodge of mustard. And to wash it all down, we've got a cup of sake, which has been brewed from the local brewery, which is only about 15 minutes from here. We also ordered some pan pan, which is this white triangular um, surimi fish cake, which they make in-house. In fact, they make all the fish cakes in-house. You can see the chef slapping the fish paste into a mold. My favorite Oden item has got to be daikon. So this huge slice of radish here. I'm going to just break it up and then um, pop a tiny bit of mustard on there. Give that a go. Oh, and that mustard is really, really strong. It went right up my nose. Oh, and that daikon is amazing. It soaks up all of that broth and it's really super juicy and soft. And that broth is delicious. They actually use a fish based um, stock here and then they flavor it with soy and it's really light. That is amazing. Let's grab out this stamina ball. So. We're not really sure what's in here, and it's such an interesting name. Mm. Whoa. Oh, it's packed with stuff, so it's a, it is a fish cake in there. So I can see um, dark sesame seeds, or black sesame seeds. I can see carrot, I think spring onions. Mm, that's got a beautiful flavor, and it's soaked up that broth really nicely. The broth's really light, actually. I'm going to try this han pan. So it's very soft and quite bouncy in texture. I just pick the whole thing up and pop it in my gob. Mmm! Whoa! It's so soft. It almost is um, the texture of marshmallow. It's really, really beautiful. Almost foamy, like a really soft foamy texture. And that's the one that's made out of the surimi fish paste. Let's give this broth a go. That is amazing. It's so clean tasting. It's a beautiful flavor of fish. Slightly savory. That's delicious. Let's give this egg a go. You can see the yolk spilling out the side. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. That's really simple. That just tastes like an incredibly creamy, beautiful egg. A slight taste of that broth from the outside. The yolk is super creamy. So we're washing this all down with uh, sake. So the sake comes in a little jar. Sake is rice wine. Really good way to start the day with a rice wine and this oden. It's going down really well. Mm, that's nice. A little bit harsh, but not in a bad way. That's that's a good good wake up drink. I've just bitten into this last one that we thought was another fish cake, but it's actually a, a tofu cake. So it looks like a fish cake in shape, but it's all tofu. Mm. The broth just burst out of it. Beautiful, soft tofu flavor. And then some greens and some carrot in there as well. This is awesome. It's so cool. I love standing here as well. Everyone's like zipping in lots of locals. Everyone's drinking beers and sake. It's pretty early in the day, so it's quite neat. Everyone having a drink, smashing back some of these to get sorted for the day. When you've finished about three quarters of your sake, you can take the rest of your glass or jar up to the counter and there they will fill the rest of the jar with the dashi or the broth from the audience. So that's what we're going to do now. That's it. This is the dashiwari. So it is made up of um, about 50 mils of the sake, and then the rest is a ladleful of that broth, so the oden broth. And then there's also a sprinkling of spice powder on the top. So I can see sesame seeds, there's some um, chili flakes, red pepper flakes, and whatnot. Let's give this a taste. Oh, oh yeah, it's like a, an alcoholic soup. So it's very savory from that broth. And then it's got this undertone of alcohol. So the heat that you get after sipping alcohol, that's in there as well. It's really tasty. There's a bit of spiciness from that uh, spice mixture as well. It's really good. Oh, very savory, very Moorish. That was a breakfast of champions, Oden and Sake. We are ready to start the day. I feel really good after that. <laughs> the, the food is incredible and then obviously that Sake just gives you a real a little kick to get you going. And we're now heading off to another part of town for one of my favorite foods to eat here in Japan. We're in Ikebukuro, which is the area in which we're staying. And we walked past this restaurant the other day and there was a line out the door. And it is an unagi restaurant. And unagi is freshwater eel. It is a Japanese obsession. And so that's what we're gonna go and have for lunch. There's a vending machine in which to order your meal. We're gonna go for the unadon, which is just the unagi, the eel on rice. Our food's arrived and it looks delicious. So this is a fresh water eel and you can see it's been grilled so there's beautiful grill marks on it but what they do with this they actually grill it and then they um, boil it, no they steam it, so they grill it then they steam it and then they grill it again so it's got a three stage cooking process and then when they're finished they baste it with this sauce and you can see the shiny beautiful sauce on there and the sauce is made up of um, some sugar, some soy sauce but they also use a broth that they, they make with the eel so I think they use all the eel bits to make a broth so that sauce has a lot of flavour in it as well and you can see the way it moves it's so soft eel it's a meat that I absolutely love and look how some of that sauce has gone down onto the rice and with it we've got some cucumbers uh, they might be fresh actually they could be pickled but they look fresh and then we've got the soup with um, which looks, just looks like a dashi soup with some coriander a little bit of seaweed I think down the bottom and some bean curd skin so a really simple soup to go with it now this looks like such a simple meal and it is really 
but the eel should be absolutely amazing. Let's just rip some of this eel off. Look how soft that is. So you've got the skin underneath. We'll just peel a big bit off. You know what? I'm just going to go for all of that. Not here to muck about. Yes. Oh. Oh, that eel. So the sauce that, that it's been based in. It's quite sweet. It's got the sugar in it and the soy sauce. So it's got a sweetness and a saltiness. And then the, the eel itself is the most incredible texture. It's super soft. It just breaks apart in your mouth, but almost, um, it's almost squishy. So it's sort of, it's like a paste the way the meat is, but that's just how it is. And it's such a nice feel to it. All right, I'm gonna try some of this unagi. So besides uh, being really popular because of the flavor of the meat, um, it's said that unagi gives you a lot of stamina after you eat it. Oh my gosh, this bite just looks absolutely perfect. Holy moly. Wow. Mm. The eel is like butter. It just, the second it hits your tongue and your mouth, it just almost melts in your mouth. And it's a really rich flavor. It definitely tastes like seafood. It's got a strong flavor, but the texture of it is just unreal. It's like nothing else. And Thomas mentioned that the the sauce on top has some soy. It also has um, midden as well, which is a sweet rice liquor, and you can really taste that. It's got a, just a beautiful sweetness. Just let's get a little bit more. It is just, it is so soft. Look how almost fatty it is. It's beautiful. Right, I'm going to get another big bit of rice to go with it. Oh, rice is quite uh, sticky and soft. It's really delicious. Oh man. This is so decadent. It's just so simple. It's just the rice and the eel. But the meal is so complete. It's just, just rich, creamy, and just a beautiful taste. I'm gonna eat some of this cucumber because that might just cut through the richness of the eel. Mm. Like Thomas said, it's just lightly pickled. Oh, this is a beautiful meal. Like we've said, this is just, it's so simple. Such a basic dish, rice, some eels, some sauce, some cucumbers, but it's unreal. It is incredible. I love eating this dish here in Japan, and this is a really, really great version. It's such a good lunch. It's just so simple. I love it. This is such a good meal. That was mm -hmm. incredible. So today's been a bit of a short video, only the two things, but wow, both of them. The first one, that oden, the sake, what a cool experience, <laughs> hanging with the locals. That was a really cool part of Tokyo. It felt very outside of the, where the tourists go, there was full local feel. That was really neat. And then the eel we've just had, mm. Awesome. Sensational. <laughs> Remember to hit that subscribe button. We've got heaps more food videos to come from Tokyo. And then after Tokyo, we head to Indonesia. So plenty more food videos to come. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Pop a comment down below. We love to hear from you. And if you want to support more content like this, more Chasing a Plate content, check out our Patreon page. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Matane. Matane.